Hello, it's lovely to see you. Today's video is going to be in two parts. The first part is going to be about making a glitter jar for mindfulness practices with a little bit of science thrown in. And the second part is going to be about how to use our glitter jar to help ourselves to feel calmer and more peaceful. For your glitter jar, you are going to need a jar with a lid and you will definitely need one colour of glitter. I don't know if you can see that but it's really fine glitter. I've got biodegradable glitter so it's better for the environment. You might also like some buttons and some sequins but don't worry if you haven't got them you don't need them and you might like another jar of glitter and some clear PVA glue and the last thing you're going to need is some warm water. So this is a glitter jar that I made yesterday and actually I think the biodegradable glitter is quite nice because some of the colour goes into the water and it's made mine bright pink. I used purple and pink glitter yesterday and if I shake it up you'll be able to see what it looks like eventually. I could watch it for hours. So the first thing you need to do is to put your glue into the bottom of your jar. Now, as I said, it needs to be clear PVA glue so that um, it doesn't make the sort of mixture at the end cloudy. And you're going to fill about a fifth to a third of the jar full of glue. The glue makes the solution, so the mixture of the glue and the water, thicker. So the glitter doesn't just get mixed up and then suddenly drop to the bottom, it swishes round for longer. So that's why the clear PVA glue is important. So squidge that in. Okay, you can see now that there is around about a fifth, ask a grown up to help you if you're not sure what that measurement looks like, of glue in the bottom, that is all glue. The next thing to do is to get your glitter and you put a good amount in. Of this pot I'd say you probably use a fifth or a sixth, so a good amount but not you don't want to fill it with glitter and I'm going to put another colour in just because I quite like the effect that makes. Now one thing that someone reminded me of the other day when I was talking about making these is using silver glitter just tends to make your mindfulness jar look a bit murky so brighter colours are better. These sequins and buttons look really nice in the jar. So pop those in and you can see at the moment that you can see your buttons and your sequins really clearly in that mixture at the moment. And the final thing to add is the water and you want to fill it up and leave about a centimetre at the top just so that you can check how things are moving around in there. Okay, I know that that's going to work for this, that I'm not going to do it, but what you would do is you would shake it up and if your glitter's falling to the bottom quite quickly, you want to add some more glue into it. Okay, then fasten your lid on really tight. Okay, and it should look something like this. So this is our brain and we've got the parts of our brain that help us with remembering things and with speaking and with language and with thinking about things clearly, those are the buttons and stars. And then we've got the chemical 
called cortisol that floods our brain when we feel a big feeling. So if I shake this up, this is going to be a bit like, at the moment, this jar is very calm. There's a little bit of movement going on because I've just made it. But in general, it's very calm and everything is sort of settled at the bottom and I can see the buttons and the stars really clearly. But when I have a big feeling, it's like the brain gets shaken up. And whereas we could see the buttons and sequins really easily before the front part of our brain, it's really hard to find them when all that cortisol and all those thoughts and feelings are whizzing round. How I like to use my mindfulness jar to help my mind and my body to settle if I'm feeling a big feeling is just to shake it up put it somewhere I can easily see it, take a long breath out and a gentle breath in and keep breathing gently while I watch the glitter settle to the bottom of the jar. I find that really relaxing. I wonder if you do too.